Welcome to Good Mythical Gamore. Let's talk about some dilemmas that you get yourself into and how you can get out of them. Uh, in fact, the worst way to get out of them. But first, man, let's list all the state capitals. Raleigh. Um, Columbia. Uh, Tallahassee. Baton Rouge. Uh, Sacramento. Albany. Seattle. Denver. Dallas. Uh, Las Vegas. I think I was wrong about Dallas. I think I've been I wrong three times. I think we've had times. a few incorrect <laughs> ones. But for a while there, I was like, wow, I'm really impressed. Mm. What, what's, this, what's the capital? Seattle of? is incorrect. It is oh. Olympia. And Austin is the capital of Texas. Oh, wow. Don't put so me on got, Jeopardy. You got two wrong. Did I get any wrong? Think so, but Vegas, hey, but isn't Tallahassee the Carson City? Isn't Tallahassee the capital? Of Vegas Florida? is uh, Nevada. Like weirdly, right? Yeah, is Carson See, I, City. I was like, that's a good, that's an interesting one. It's not yeah. nearly the biggest town. All right, uh, before we get into this, I want to go ahead and tell you because this is in my lap. Today's the last day for y'all to be able to get your very own proud Mythical Beast Crew collab tea. A hundred percent of the profits will be benefiting Outreach Action International. So head on over to mythical.com. To get it before it's gone. Outreach Action International. Shout out. Get it. So we are going to be solving dilemmas in the worst ways possible. Yeah. So I'm gonna give you a dilemma. I'm gonna tell you these dilemma dilemmas. Dilemmas? Yep. Dilemma. Dilemma. Dilemma <laughs> are unusual. And then I'm going to give you two solutions. I believe both those solutions are going to be bad, and we're going to determine which is the worst of the mm -hmm. two. Okay. That makes sense. That all tracks. And yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, here's the first dilemma. You spilled Diet Coke all over your boss's laptop while they were in the restroom, uh -huh. rendering it broken. Okay. So here are the solutions. Solution number one. Cover all the office furniture in Diet Coke mm -hmm. and blame it on the weather. Oh, okay. Or we had a Diet two, Coke storm, mm -hmm. boss. It happens. Tell them you were startled by a mouse, and instead of worrying about laptops, they should be more worried about wild mice. <laughs> well, these are both pretty bad. Uh, wow. Um, which one? Uh, Wild mice. If you're thinking about your boss, you're thinking about job security, right? So, um, you know, which one is going to ensure that you're going to... I think the, the, the mice one might be... You might have a little sympathy for that person. Like, oh, you're scared of... It, it, You're scared of mice? And it's logical. Covering all the furniture with Diet Coke and blaming it on the weather. Last time I checked, like... Offices had roofs. And and weather doesn't come in the form of colas. Well, so you're going to seem like you are off your rock. What about acid rain? Be like, oh, That's yeah. part coke, isn't it? I just think, I just think, be like, oh, then the boss is never going to look at you the same if you're like, you're lying and you're like you're 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 making claims about the weather that are untrue. Like, Solution number this one: This employee doesn't even understand how the weather works. Solution number one is is especially bad of two really yeah, bad. That is dumb. solutions. That is correct. Dumb. <laughs> correct. <laughs> correct. We were correct. Wild mice. There's something that Eating depresses me rice. about just the dilemma itself. I think it's the diet coke part. I don't know. There's some, but if you're going to spill coke, coke, it might as well be diet. You know, uh, you don't have sugar. Yeah. Sugar. But the other stuff is also sticky. That's how we know it's who's going to cause who's the same spilled damage. a drink in our house. It, if it's me and Jesse, it's going to be like sugarless Lacroix, and you know, it's not going to do anything. In fact, you could use that to clean stuff up. Huh? But if I'm walking through some place and all of a sudden I get sticky foot, I'm like, oh, that's one of those daggum kids again. Drinking those sugary drinks. Giving you the Are they drinking food. sodas in the house? Uh, not on a regular basis, but on a semi-regular basis, if if they if like if Shepard has friends over. Oh, what a horrible parent! They'll get oh, let's, we got a bunch of sprites, Dad. So I was gonna ask the soda of choice. So it's Sprite. Uh, they also do straight up Coke too. <laughs> you know, I don't. 
Man, I I used to be a we were a fiend for that mellow yellow. Your, ki your kids don't ever do like soft drinks, like with when friends come over. Um, n yeah, yeah. Sometimes, like if we have like a party, like a little kid get together, a little or kid party, a little get together with 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 the kids and their cronies. We'll throw some soft drinks in there, and then they'll linger for a while. Oh, Shepard will milk those sprites. Oh yeah, for as long as he can. You all see that boy milk a sprite. I just thought that just there was going to be like some kind of drink I've never heard of that they were into, like some kind of cool like teen. No, it's like, still all about Coke and something. Sprite. I mean, as far as I can tell, my kids are into um, teas for some reason, like like well, hot tea. No, like um, like bottled sweet tea. Yeah, and my kids the, went through that. The, there's an the, unsweet the Arizona tea. tea phase. It's not Arizona, but it's like it's, it's a bottle that's shaped like that. It's, it's it's that same type of thing, but they're sweet. So I'm like, hey, there's a lot of sugar in this. You need to watch. You need to watch your sugar intake, just so you know. I'm only worried about the floor. I'm not worried about my my kids' health. Let's hear okay. the next one. Dilemma number two: You forgot your mother-in-law at the train station. Oh yeah, <laughs> at the train. I, I always station. pick her up at the train station. She's been waiting there for five hours. She already hates you from yeah. when you forgot to pick her up last Christmas. Uh, Here are your solutions. Train station. Oh, Twinkie Fingers, these transitions that on a monitor that literally no one else sees except for, for us. I That's saw it. It was like really this. Can you really imagine easy. two fonts coming keep it in interesting. and then meeting in the middle? That's Solution wow. number one, lean into it. Since she already hates you, tell her if you weren't such a nag, I'd probably be less likely to forget about you. Oh, my goodness. There's a lot of antiquated aspects to this scenario. There's a train station and there's a use of the word nag. And also just like the trope of, you know, Having a bad relationship with your mother. Oh, that's not antiquated. Trust me. <laughs> Solution number two, tell her it's your favorite yearly tradition, and if you stop it, you'll have nothing left to look forward to. Being late for somebody? In the, the train like station? leaving her at the train station, yeah. Yeah, yeah this is, yeah, yeah. Oh, because you did it last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you weren't such a nag, I'd probably be less likely to forget about you. I mean, Solution number two seems like a, a kind of a dad joke to me. It seems like you would say that, like to 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 make her laugh, you know, like to cover up the situation. Yeah, I could also see a relationship with a mother-in-law where it's like uh, so sarcastic. It's like you know, if if they both dish it out, then I think it could work. You know, it's like. There is a scenario where you could call your mother-in-law a nag to her face if she can call you a, a like a complete loser, like a wash up, like a like a wash up, like a um, just a total embarrassment. I think but it so, has to go both ways. I think the solution too could work, especially because you're starting a tradition, which is mother-in-laws really respect that. And you can also say something like, "I have a religious exemption from picking up my mother-in-law <laughs> on time for Christmas." And she can't argue with that. You know, my father-in-law, he, he, you know, ever since that one Christmas, he's, he's always made fun of me uh, in, with when sharp When he objects. saved your life. Yeah, when I fainted into his arms after cutting open a Barbie doll packaging and cutting my finger. You know, what I should have done was, I should have just, I should have given it right back to him. I should have just made just as much fun of him, you know? What did he do, though? He's got a funny looking goatee. <laughs> Oh, God, it's got a like very questionable, like facial hair configuration. It's like, at least wow. I, at least I, w at least I don't do that. Is it n now or then? Yeah. It seems like I'm doing it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like yeah. I mean, it, this was ten years ago, but is he still doing it? No, he's still doing it. Oh, oh okay. So but, it's, it's you know, but I didn't jump on it ten years ago, and so, now I'm just like so this Christmas. You, you're coming. I'm the ready. guy who has to endure the knife jokes, and it's one way. It's all in one way. You, I like, think this year you just come right in as soon as he makes funny. Well, y'all look at your goatee. <laughs> like, well, where'd that come from? <laughs> right. I should have. I should have said this ten years ago. He didn't have a goatee ten years ago. Oh, so. I don't think you can uh, talk when you're unconscious. True. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. You're on his he and side. Yeah, we, we have something. He, he want to make sure I delivered that joke to you. Yeah. All right. That's good. I like that. I'm going with solution number two, one being the worst. Two's not bad. No, I'm liking number one. Just call call a spade a spade. Okay. We're and supposed call to call a nag a nag is is actually good. So I have to go with number two. 
You were playing hide and seek with the kids you were babysitting, but fell asleep. <laughs> and one of them spent the whole night locked in the fridge. Oh. He's okay ooh. physically, but now he thinks he's a piece of American cheese. <laughs> he's okay this physically. This is very specific. I mean, would you be okay physically? Uh, a fridge so. is uh, about, it's about 40 degrees, probably. Uh, you could spend all night in there, yeah. It, I mean, it's not good for you, but you're well, not gonna die. Uh, what about oxygen? Um, it's got a magnetic seal around that puppy. You're gonna breathe it all in like seven or eight hours? Yeah. I don't know. How long can you stay inside of a fridge? Well, but but we've said he's okay physically, so yeah, we have to assume that. He's just like, he's just been mentally damaged he to found, the point. He found of, a hole and sucked on it. He found a hole to the outside. Okay, here are your solution I think options. she's a piece of America. One, as an attempt to show him he is wrong, snap him with a wet towel and explain that cheese slices can't feel pain. This is, okay, so abuse on top of abuse. This is, this is. Or two. I'm Scare him away by eating a piece of American cheese in front of him while screaming, you're next. Okay, all right. Okay, I, so is it physical abuse or more mental abuse? It's like, this is, oh, this is, this is tough to, this is tough to discuss. I think the war, I think it's. In a safe way. I think it's worse to, to hit him with a wet towel, you know. I, I, I do well, think, you don't want to say that, like. I'm not saying Physical that. Physical abuse and emotional abuse are both <laughs> valid forms of abuse. Yeah, but we're talking <laughs> about we're talking about a kid who thinks he's a piece of American cheese. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm let's saying? Keep, let's keep it light. Yeah, yeah. Well, How a, can we keep this light? Yeah, I know. Look what you've done to us. You're trying to get us canceled, Carney. I can write this over here. I like a good slice of American cheese. Sometimes it's just perfect, isn't it? Yeah, I like that trend. That trend from last year, or maybe even older oh, than the that, tossing. where they would throw the cheese at the people in the cars, and it would just like land on somebody's forehead. Mike, is my mic on? Can you guys hear me right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. This yes. is, yeah. This I'm not pressing the button to my mic, so now all the side comments I make about you that you can't normally hear, I can no longer yeah. make. I, I, Everything's I, been broadcast. I requested broadcast. that change. That's right. Oh god. Did you ever throw a piece of cheese on somebody in traffic? How are they still talking? You can't hear us? Because I... Because we can hear you. Yes. What would you do? Yeah, yeah. Legitimately, question. Yeah? You're driving, you pull up to a stoplight, some crazy teens with a TikTok account, throw a piece of cheese that like, you got your window rolled down, it just lands on your arm. Like, what is your legitimate reaction to this? You, your camera's on. I would like to think that I would pick it up and eat it, but I would be angry. And I would, uh, I'd probably, I'd, I'd flick it back at him before I thought about it. You'd throw it back at him? Yeah. Because eating it would would be awesome. But if I knew I was being filmed, boy, I hope I wouldn't do that. Because it's like, you know, it's like, I, I, there's that guy from the internet, from the thumbnails, getting angry about his slice of cheese on TikTok. Yeah, right. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm abstaining from this one. I'm not falling into this trap. I'm saying it's worse to hit someone with a towel than it is to intimidate them with a, with a cheese threat. That's just my personal philosophy. Yeah. Next. Oh, am I gone again? No, I'm still here. <laughs> uh, okay. That's cool. You sound, you're sounding a little cray cray right now, Stevie. Do I sound? Okay, see, this is the thing. So now I sound louder, right? I am sounding crazy. It's all in your head. <laughs> Talking louder. It's all in your head, Stevie. Okay, okay, then now it's better again. Uh, you ran over someone's pet Komodo dragon. Oh, okay. Uh, while riding a, a bird I don't feel that scooter. Bad. Oh, I just remember the dream I had last night. <laughs> Thank you. You ran over a Komodo dragon? I found this little, I was with a kid. And the kid was chasing one of those lizards that likes the sun around. Did the here. kid think he was a slice of American cheese? Shh, don't, I'm about to forget it. And then we took the lizard and it became a pet. And, we, and I took it to a party and we got out of the car. Me, this kid that I do not know, and his lizard, his little lizard. And then he gets out of the car and he runs to the party because he's like seven years old or something. Right. And then I looked back and someone had stepped on the lizard. And smushed, the smushed the back, the the back half of the lizard, 
Like not just his tail, but a little bit of his legs too. Like and he's not doing well. And he's not doing well. He's like flopping around. That's not growing back. It's yeah, yeah. It's too yeah. much to grow back. <laughs> he's flopping around and struggling, and I'm like, oh my gosh, this kid that like when he comes out of that party. I th it was, think it was my kid, but it wasn't one of my kids. Oh. It was like I, I had another child yep. that really cared for this lizard that we found, and here it was half dead, like literally the back half of it was smushed. It was like one of the sperms that didn't make it. And I was feeling like, is it gonna come back? And like, it was a horrible dream. I can't remember what happened. Thanks for reminding me. That was, you that's all I remember. Done. I mean, but he wasn't coming back from that. That's Well, in this scenario, yeah, you've, you've killed this kid's uh, lizard, this Komodo dragon. Yeah. That's I know what that feels like. Uh, I felt it in my dream, but I wasn't the one who stepped on it. That's Your different. solution options are one, using finger quotation marks say, I'm sorry for accidentally killing your totally normal <laughs> pet. <laughs> <laughs> or two, Remind the owner, now we're calling, oh, okay, it's not a kid, I guess, okay. Remind the owner that it is illegal to own a Komodo dragon as a pet and perform a citizen's arrest. Oh, you're going as far as citizen's arrest. Uh. Well, you know, I I mean, I hate to bring it up, but I did run over uh, a family's dog, and they were all in the front yard. And I was there. It was a bad day. It was a real bad day. It was, but it wasn't his fault. Totally just, <laughs> just so you know, it was not his fault. It was not driving recklessly. It just ran out. It came like out of the periphery. We were, I, it's nothing I could have done. We were in junior year high school, maybe sophomore year. Yeah. No, and it had. I mean, I have my license, so I didn't get my year. license till junior year. And we just, it was just like, it was awful. Why did you bring that up? Because that's what I, I know what this feels like. Not only because of my dream, and I think I because, think about that from time to time. Yeah, I know. It's like I try not to. It was, it was bad. And like we went to school with a girl. Yeah. Like she was one of our classmates. She she was a couple of years younger than us. She wasn't mad though because it wasn't anybody's fault. It's yeah, it was it, a it complete was accident. Dog, it was the it dog's was, fault. It was horrifying. It was the dog's fault, but I mean, I feel, I mean, you can't blame a dog really. It was bad, man. It was, it was. I mean, and then so it's like, what do I? What do we do? You know? Well, the dad was just like, just go, just go. We so, were like, oh, okay. So we just went. We just went. We just went. Never talked about it. Except yep. in therapy. <laughs> yep. Yep. Except every week in therapy. And I'm not even giving you the details. Yeah, yeah, don't. And don't. Don't give the details. Yeah. I can't get them it out. It gets worse. Head. Yeah, don't, I don't give the details. You want to hear the details? Let's talk about that Komodo dragon. No. No, no, no. Because I'm watching a, a Komodo dragon. I mean, dragon, I'm a dog lover. Watching a Komodo dragon die slowly wouldn't be that traumatic. This is a bad more for me, guys. <laughs> this is this is bringing up a lot of this is dredging. Now up a I will lot. say I feel like historically we have a. a I'm not saying I was the victim. Clearly, the dog was the victim and the family. But like mm -hmm. I, it hurt me too. Historically, we have a what I would call reptile slander on this show. I want to acknowledge that that, and I have not thought about this philosophically or ethically, but I do feel like reptiles' lives have less value than mammals. Um, and I, and, and, and I mean, I, there's no reason other than the fact that just less of them, I'm further on, away on the motion, on the, uh, evolutionary tree. So less of an emotional connection. I don't know. Mm. What about birds? Uh, birds were reptiles first. So I have less, even less of a connection to them. Well, no, but, they're more like, evolved. Than... Right. But they, they were reptiles, which I don't have a connection. And they went and just flew into the air. <laughs> it was like, you know, it's like now they're, they're, they're kind of showing off now. But so were we. I actively we're, hate birds. We have a common ancestor with a reptile. We have a reptilian brain. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying, but so by I'm that rationale, further away. They're, no, they're further away than a reptile because they were the same as the reptile back when they branched off. And then they, and then they got feathers and became birds. And we went this way. And we went this way. So we're like on complete Oh, wow. So you feel like a bird is further away than a reptile. You hate birds more than reptiles. I didn't think about it until right now, but yes. I hate birds mm -hmm. more than lizards. Thanks for deflecting from me killing that dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep going with that. But that's what I'm saying. I is mean, that it, I just what want I did to was an accident. He actively hates reptiles and birds. I want to acknowledge that there's, I'm not saying I want to see birds or uh, reptiles suffer. I'm just saying that if I had to choose between a dog or a lizard suffering, I would choose the lizard. Give me two. Yeah, but I'm not the one who ran over a dog, so I mean, I can't speak for you. <laughs> it's not good, man. It's bad. It's 
bad. You know, you know, they like it's just. Yeah, yeah. What, you do you do you need to talk about it? It sounds like you need to talk. Nobody, about it. nobody won. You know, it's like there's no silver lining to it. Yeah, right, right, right. You right. know, it was negative for every party involved. Even talking about it now, especially the dog, is like making it worse. Yeah. Well, what are we having for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> Say it loud and proud with the proud Mythical Beast Crew collab tea available now through May 19th at mythical.com with 100% of profits benefiting Outright Action International.